Hello and welcome to Jang's Oriental Food Workshop. I'm Chin and this is my mum Chu. Oh, hello. We have not uh, we have not done this one for a little while. I might be a bit forgetful, all right? Yeah, plus I've got a new light that makes my face look shiny. Yeah, shiny. It's not, it's not a great look. Anyway, um, we'll get on with the video. Yeah. Okay, you're welcome. If you're new to the channel, we teach you how to do Chinese takeaway food and traditional Chinese takeaway food. Uh, hello, and if you're new to the channel, welcome. Me and my mum like to teach people how to do Chinese takeaway food at home. Like, actually how you do it, not what a lot of people say you do on the internet, which is not right. We also like to teach you how to do traditional Chinese food too. So if you like those two things, this is your place to be, isn't it, mum? Yes, the place to be. Yeah, steaming. Up. It's warm today. It is warm. It's yeah. humid. Yes, it is a word humid. Yeah. Why is it called humid? Because it's humidity. It's just, oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, oh. It's halfway, isn't it? I mm. thought it was humid. All right, sorry. No, it's got. No, I don't think. <laughs> I don't think it's got anything to do with that. Maybe hum is Latin for. Um, Mit is in between, no, isn't it? Yeah, but, yeah, but that's not what the word is. Oh, all right then. Sorry. Anyway, um, we digress. Today's video, we are teaching you how to do, Mum? Pancake roll. Yes. A lot of you have been asking for it. That's why we're going to get on with it and and enjoy uh, making it and eating it. Yes, Mum will enjoy eating it. Yeah. Jumbo pancake rolls, that is. That's the stuff. We're going to make it how we make it. Um, or how the takeaways we've owned and takeaways we've worked in have always made them. So we've been a, a few places around. Some places we put spam and shrimp in. Nah, that's not. No, no, um, no just some places get out put here. Uh, carrot. Yeah, we're gonna teach. Ours is quite basic, but they're yeah, so good. It's so nice. It's it so is. good. It is. Anyway, um, we digress. We'll get on with the video yeah, now. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Go on in. Yeah. So here are the ingredients. First off, we have these. These are spring home. Every single Chinese takeaway in the UK will use this. There is no other brand that it would use. Um, if they, if someone in the comments says we use a different brand, you're lying. You are lying. These are the premium. Every single takeaway owner knows these. Um, that's just the way it is. These are um, 30 sheets. I think the size on them, 10 inches. So these are the ones you make jumbo ones. The smaller ones, which are the six inch? Eight by eight. Eight by eight, you make the tiny spring rolls like those small ones right here. But that's the brand you're looking for. This, These are really important. Yeah, you this need... one, the best, better one. Yeah, yeah. This one to get. Okay, now you've got the fillings. We'll go through the um, Chinese roast pork filling first is what we fill ours up with. If you don't know how to make Chinese roast pork, I will link the video for that below. It's really simple to make, and the off, the byproduct of this is barbecue sauce. So that's what the barbecue sauce. It's the sauce made from Chinese roast pork or tasao or tasil, however you want to pronounce it. So we use that, and into that we will fry off a teaspoon of garlic. That's level. Remember the crushed garlic, if you don't know that, I will put a link below on how to make that. Here you've got a third teaspoon of MSG, a third teaspoon of salt, a level teaspoon of black pepper, a level teaspoon of Chinese five spice, and you're gonna need about a dessert, uh, sorry, two dessert spoons of vegetable oil. We always use vegetable oil. People always go, what veg do you, what, what veg do you use? What oil do you use? Always veg. Now for the main filling, these will make about three three pancake rolls. The sheets there, you can defrost them and then freeze them again. So we'll only be using three of those. You're gonna need about 600 to 700 grams of fresh bean sprouts. Like I said, that will make about three. You're gonna need half a teaspoon of garlic puree. You need two thirds teaspoon of MSG, a third teaspoon of salt, a heap teaspoon of black pepper, and you're gonna need a quite you're gonna need quite a bit of oil for this, so there's about three tablespoons, two, sorry, two tablespoons 
well, it's about two and a half tablespoons of oil. So that's that hey. for the filling. Sorry, the... Five spice for that, I've already yeah. just done that. Oh, right, sorry. So you also need quite a lot of oil for deep frying, and, because that's just how they're done, they're deep fried, obviously. So I can't really tell you how much you should use, but we're going to use... Just like a level of frying chips. Yeah, just like with frying chips. You just want to make sure they're floating yeah. and not stuck to the bottom of the pan. Also, you'll need some plain flour, and to this you'll add some water and make a paste. Now, I'll just do that quickly now. So what this is for is sealing the pancake rolls when you roll them, and also when you go to fry them, you use this to touch up the corners. If you don't do that, they tend to burst, oil gets inside and they burn. This stops that from happening and you have an enclosed sort of... Both ends. Yeah, enclosed both ends. That, that, didn't, make, that didn't make sense, but you know, you know what we mean. You guys know us by now. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. that's right. Right, so we'll get on with that. What we'll do first is we're gonna prepare these bean sprouts because um, you have to let them sit and drain and cool down. You can't use them warm. You use them warm and they will literally melt your pancake, pancake skin, skin. Won't they? Yeah. Well, cause it to wilt. But yeah, so we'll get on with that. Right, so in goes the oil. All of it, yep. This needs to get really hot. Hot, yes. Very hot. Very hot. It's like that. You're going to sing a song then, weren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Every time I can I tell. Got... Like when you, I can hear it in your voice. You go, Nelly? very, very... It's Nelly getting hot, hot in, in here. here. Yeah, Nelly song. That's a good one. You like that song, do you? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so for all of those who um, wanted to know, when this gets up to temperature, you're going to have to move really fast because the garlic's going to go in with the MSG salt um, and it can burn very quickly because the amount of oil you have means that it keep, retains a lot of heat, which means the garlic burns very quickly. <clears throat> yeah, that's right. The garlic burns quickly. You put the garlic in. Then your bean sprout, then the rest of it. Yeah. So it's like a flash. Yeah. So so if we don't say anything during the next phase, it's because Mum's trying to concentrate on doing it fast. Yeah. Because last thing we wanted to do was show you a how to burn garlic, it. Garlic, isn't it? No, <laughs> you do not want it, do you? <laughs> anyway, so Anyone yeah. Everyone know how to burn. Doesn't it? And it's educated to burn a garlic, doesn't it? No. Yeah. Well. Unless you've never seen fire before, you might need to. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's nearly hot enough, but what mum was just saying, um, and I forgot to mention earlier, a lot of places won't bother doing this step. If you don't do this, your um, bean sprouts can really make your pancake rolls awful. Don't taste so nice. They yeah. taste fishy. Yeah. And also, um, most places will freeze them and defrost them later. That also causes their pancakes to burn. Yeah. Because there's too much water in it and it splits very easily. Yeah. Anyway, yes. this is getting hot, so I'm yes. going to get on with this. So now I'll try and talk you through this yeah. as much as I can. Mum's going to put the garlic in. See, it literally is in there for a matter of seconds before Mum whacks in the. Um, I've forgotten the word for it. Garlic. Garlic, thank you. Spread it around. Yeah. I think it's enough, isn't it? Not going to hold anymore. This no, it's gone. Yeah, yeah. Because it'll wilt. And you want to put it in the seasoning? Yeah. Spread it around. I'm talking now. Spread all your black pepper around. Your MSG and your salt. And just watch it get hot and hotter. And turn it now and then. Part of the point behind doing this is to. Release the moisture. Yeah, it's not very easy to turn. You see that water is coming out now from the bean sprout. Spread it around, just let it cook a little bit. Good, you want to keep this on a high heat? Yeah, always always high heat. Do not turn it down. So after, literally, it doesn't take very long, after about two, three minutes, turn they're ready. Heat, yeah. If, um, if they're wilting, they're overdone. But you, if they're not wilting at all, they're underdone. Oh, it's really difficult to explain. But you, if look at, if you just look at these bean sprouts, this is the consistency you're looking for. And you like to spread it to make a well in here, stop the the water running down into those. What do you call it? It's to help the water run down. Yeah. 
not to stop it. You need to, if you leave that there, the water tends to pool on the actual bean sprouts rather than go into the bottom of the colander. Yeah. You want to leave these for a good 20, 30 minutes to cool down. Yeah, before you come back for the next stage, okay? Yeah. While we're waiting for that, we're going to cook the, what do you call it, the filling? The filling. Feeling. I got a feeling. No, that is a new one, the old feeling. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't realise that we had a, a decade yeah, in mind like, yeah, for our musical renditions, Mum. Yeah, there's a feeling. It's in the 70s, isn't it? That's all. You guys know what I'm talking about. If you are the 70s, 80s hip chicks or hip man or whatever, yeah. I don't even think it was hip to call people hip chicks. Yeah, H I P hip, not not hip. Yeah, hip I know, I mean know what, groovy, yeah, I, groovy. I know yeah, the eighty <laughs> groovy. Yeah. <laughs> so now's the next step. In goes your oil. Yeah, on the heat. Yeah. Yeah, please, mum. Do and not again. forget to turn it on the heat, otherwise you're not going very far. <clears throat> yeah, that's um one of the secrets of cooking is actually heat. The, yes. the, well, yeah, isn't it, mum? Yes. <laughs> what? Sorry. He's saying it like like people might not know that. It's funny. What but, was it? No, don't worry. Okay. Your garlic? Yeah. Is it hot enough? Oh, yeah. You don't want it too hot for this? No. You don't want it burn. You want it smelling fragrantly. Okay? When you start feel, smelling it, you put your five spice in. And next your pork. Barbecue pork. And you turn your heat down a little bit, that much, all right? As you can probably tell, Mum's very proud of her pancake rolls because this is probably the only video I haven't spoken in. Yeah. I, I normally do everything else in terms of cooking except chicken balls and um, pancake rolls are Mum's forte. She's yeah. really good at them. I, and everything else now, yeah? Yeah. So in goes the MSG, yeah. the salt. Yeah. And the pepper. the pepper. yes. Again, some places won't do this step. They will just put um, spam. You can do it like that if you want. You can actually use tofu instead of this. So you can. No, whatever use... you like. You're vegetarian, you can put tofu. Yeah, you can put tofu. Don't have to use the meat. Vegan, you can't use these rolls because they've got eggs in. I'm, I'm going to use the same bowl again, okay? Yeah, that's anyway, it's cooked. So you just want to brown this off, get those. Flavors, yeah, cooked. Um, and I was say, as I was saying before, a lot of places will literally just put their Chinese roast pork in without this step, and it makes all the difference. I yeah, swear to you, make one as we do it, and then yeah. one as we say other places do it, and notice the difference. It's a miles apart. You can see the the pork is, is turning a little bit now. Like it's you're just trying to catch it a little bit. Yeah, like a bit like uh, caramelized, is it? Caramelized. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so this is about ready. It's been yeah. on here for about two minutes. A minute, yeah, two minutes, uh, one or two minutes, yeah. Off the heat. And then put yeah. it into the bowl. Put in the bowl that I used from the beginning. Save some washing. Okay. And good for the environment. Less plate you use. Well, we recycle our plates. We don't pick yeah. up our porcelain plates and throw them in a bin every time, do we? Because no. that, that would that would be irresponsible, yeah. wouldn't it, Mum? Yeah, we wash it again and we use it again, okay? Yeah, we, don't worry, people, because I'm, yeah, I'm sure we'll get people going, I can't believe you throw away your porcelain. Yeah. No, no you mentals. Don't. Of course we, we don't. don't. Okay, so that looks fantastic by itself. This is also lovely, just on boiled rice. Yeah. Just on boiled just rice. Let, let cool That's down. a nice little suggestion yes. for you there. So that needs to cool down as well. Um, we are going to go and let this cool down for 10 minutes. Yeah, and then we'll come back. back to you, okay? Thumbs up, man. Okay, so we've taken these out of the packet and you need a damp cloth to put over the top of them, otherwise they'll dry out really quickly and they'll turn really brittle because they are very thin. They're, well, they're like phyllo pastry thin. So you, you want to have it like that until you are ready to use them. This is also a great tip to keep them. As you take one sheet, place the um, wet uh, cloth back over the top every time Otherwise, you will end up with... Yeah, stop it getting dry. Yeah. It does get dry. You see how thin they are? Yeah. Right? That's thin. Yeah, really thin. You can see through. Yeah. Right. We just had a quick taste of this, and we decided it needs a bit more salt, because a lot of the salt has um, washed away. So we're just putting 
a pinch more salt on. So that's a good pinch, not a stingy pinch. Well, especially when you're doing these, you always have to taste the bean sprouts. If you don't taste the bean sprouts, you can end up with quite a bland mixture. Yeah, because of the water contents, you don't know how big is the bean sprout, you know? Yeah, you don't know how much water is in each mm -hmm. one as well. Um, it's different every time. Right, so here we go. Now you've got to work fast. You cannot faff about with this. If you do, you'll, you'll, you will notice that even now, we've these have only been out for about a minute and they're starting to crack. Yeah, drying up. You need to be quick. Okay. Yep. Speedy Gonzale. One. It probably We're going to make about three. About three, yeah. Also, you'll need for when you're making three, you'll need six sheets. Be careful, all right? Because I have been doing this one for for long time. I can just tear it, but normally you just go slowly. Otherwise, they'll just break, okay? Yeah, like yeah. it mum makes it look easy and it's really not easy. And then you fold this one into half. That's for a reason. You cut that, fold it into half. That's your line, you cut it. Oh, and that feeling song was Albert Morris. No, Martin. No, it wasn't, it's was Albert Morris. Mm -hmm. Albert Morris, man. Morris Maori. No. No, sorry, I don't know, I forgot. It was Albert Morris. Oh, is it? And it was 1974. Four. It's got feeling. Da, 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 da. So you need to make sure that these are all Sorry. separated. Yeah, separated. Put it to one side. And then the reason being is because there are a lot of water contents in the bean sprout, and you put it in, if you come up really quickly, it will just melt and you end up with a hole. You do not want your hole in a pancake roll. It's not going to be a core pancake roll, isn't it? It's going to be called holy... holy <laughs> no, I want to say the word. Well, you're going to say holy, <laughs> holy shit. Is that what you're going to say? Yeah. Right. You get that flour paste now. What you do, you stop your, your pastry rolling about. You tap a little bit on it and put it down. Put a bit on here. You see why I put it at the tip there to seal it and a little bit in here and then you get the triangle shape in here put it down stop it getting a hole you get it's all very messy okay one handful of that one this is really honestly difficult mum's making it look very easy and it's not this one is going handful. to take this is going to take you a lot of practice yes you put it as far as you can don't put it in the center in here you put it in the center in here it doesn't give you much space, a uh, pancake, uh, the skin to roll about. You will understand me when you, you, you not follow my step. If you follow my step, you have a lot of space to work with. And you, you make a hole in the center and put your, put your port in there. All right. Don't be afraid about your hands messy. That's all the flavor, okay? You roll it. And one more time, and go like that, and go like this. If you think that it's going to fly away, it's like an aeroplane, you put your hand in your paste there, dab a little bit on, and that will stick, and dab a little bit on here, and then some roll it, and roll it again. Yeah, that's your jumbo pancake roll, look. And then, and then you have to, um we're gonna fry them straight away. Yeah. You want the hottest oil you can possibly get it. Yeah. Um, you need to dab the ends in. To stop it uh, bursting because it get quite thin in here. So you go like that. Most places will roll these yeah. and then leave them in the fridge. Yeah. We've got into habit of doing this because if you leave them in the fridge, the ends go soggy. Yeah. This hardens them back up. Then you put it in. And you just right. leave it in there for about five minutes. Yeah. Then you go on the second one. I'll show you the speed I work with then, all right? Yeah, the you go, one, yeah, yeah, mum, you go, yeah. yeah you show them, you now. show them, mum. Yes. So fast. So fast. There you are. See, that was Listen quick. Listen a minute. 
I was going to make, probably make quite a few actually. Yeah, maybe four. I, I was going to say, I thought we were going to make three, but we've made, obviously made way but more. But we don't want three. to give you a false well, number, you know? But put, we'll put, put the one. second one in now, yeah. shall we? Yeah. That bit and that bit. When you put your pancake roll in, be careful, all right? Oil can be hot. Yeah. I'm going to do a smaller, right at the right at the end there, all right? Don't start from the middle. Do not start from the middle. Start from the end, okay? Um. So where do you start from, Mum? From the end here, right at the tip here. Where don't you start? In the middle. Okay. So where do you start? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Right, you roll it down, you just roll it and roll it and put it down and tap it and then to make it stay you put a little bit. Don't be afraid, okay? You, can, you can't use too much paste. Yeah, you don't drop it straight away, let it cook a little bit. Yeah, if you, this drop, it, one, if you, if you drop it straight away, it will stick. stick. Hey, drink your yeah. coke. Do you know that phrase? It's very American, no. it's, not, it's not English. So there's a hole there. It's all right, don't, don't worry. worry. Yeah. Don't, Don't worry. worry. Hey! Finally, we got a song at the same time. <laughs> oh, we could get five. Let's get. Even let's do better. five then. Let's do five. Right. You start in here. Make it like a square. Make a hole in the centre here for the pork to go in. Right. It really does differ every time. You'll find that next time you'll cook the exact same amount and you'll get two pancake rolls less. Yeah. It's all to do with the quality of the bean sprouts that come in and the water content. Yes. This one is a very good one. It is, isn't it? Actually? Yeah, someday you get a really thin one, they're really watery. If you think that it's going to burst, you just put a tap a little bit of flour in there. Okay? And dab, dab, in you go. Dab. My brothers don't dab, we just fussy bot. <laughs> I, can't, I can't get enough of that, so sorry guys. Probably going to get copyrighted for saying that. Shall I make one without the... Protection, two layer. No, no, do, 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 do it. Two layer, yeah? yeah. We want to do it right. Yeah, we were going to show. Mum wanted to show you one without, but I just think that's a waste of food because we're going to eat these. <laughs> so over to the here. These have been in for about five minutes. Going to need a little bit longer. I really do like pancake rolls, and we've got um, some barbecue sauce to tip these bad boys in. So we're going to show you one last time how to do these. How to roll it. But you can freeze these. Yeah, you can. You freeze them, you need to defrost them. They don't cook them from frozen. Mm. And when you um, defrost them, it's really important you use lots of that on the ends here. If you don't, they will burst and fall apart instantly. Right, so. I'll give you a tip. If you find that your pancake skin is broken like this, right? Ha <laughs> ha. Um, don't start in here because it's gone not, not looking right, okay? You use it on the, turn it on the side there because that's going to fold in. It's not going to affect it. It's not going to be a holy pancake. See, okay? it's, it's tips like this that you just don't get anywhere else, is it, Mum? No, you don't. You don't, do you? No. <laughs> just come here and watch us, all right? Yeah, just, just, well, they're watching. Click, watch like, subscribe. Click, like, subscribe. Yes. Um, we sell a lot of this stuff on our website. The only thing we don't sell are uh, probably anything fresh because we just can't. It's impossible. Yeah. See that one? Right at the tip here, okay? And then you fold that over. Yeah. What mum hasn't told you is that you're trying to tuck that in at the same time as folding yeah. that over the top. So you, you're making that toy look a toyger, yeah? Which makes a really cylindrical roll. Yes. Okay. I forgot to tell you then. That's right? fine. I just, I just told them then, Mum. Okay. Right. Yeah. You pull it straight over the top. Just fold it down. Okay. One more time. You see what I mean? That hole doesn't matter anymore. That's it. So you you go in here. Yeah. You see that doesn't matter in here, but it will matter if you start from where you're rolling. 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 Rolling on a river. And then you cut a little bit of the top. A bit more, so it will just seal it at the end there, okay? How about that? There Jumbo pancake roll. Jumbo pancake rolls. Done cooking. We will be here all week. 
No, we yeah. won't actually. Um, guys, our season is about to come up, as in our cooking season for our shop, which means videos are going to slow down a bit. We can't do one a week at the moment anymore. Yeah. Um, we will try. Yeah, we'll try. Um, we're just actually think for you guys, all we're, right? We're actually thinking of setting up a studio. If we set up our own studio, it would help everyone out. We can make high quality videos. Put it out now, yeah? Yeah. Do you want to keep this too and not frying it? Yeah, it might as well fry it. Yeah? Yeah. That was good. Good girl, though. This, this thing sprout. We make how many? Six. Six. When we said three. Yeah, yeah. So we doubled the amount. Yeah, that's good then. Not underestimate. It's always best to be overestimate, isn't it? Always, always hot oil all the way through this because they don't burn. Yeah. They literally just do that. They go yeah. nice golden brown. They These take about six to seven minutes. Yeah. Yeah. And like I said, we're going to be short on videos soon because we literally work 14 hours a day, six days a week. And on our day off, we're still working. Yeah. Um, and we need to find the time to be able to edit in that time. It's not, and when I say we're working, it's not, uh, oh, I can take an hour break here and there. It's all the way through. Yeah. Um, can I say something? Thank yes. you for all our fans that who managed to come down to see us down the weir. Yeah. It was brilliant meeting you all. It's real. It is real. It's real, yeah. Yeah, and as I can relate to all you guys now. I like I don't like saying you guys, but I do now. <laughs> relate to you old people. Not O L D. A L L O. Not you, old. You old Yeah, okay. Old people. Finished? Yes. <laughs> okay, cool. Um so we're just gonna do well, how to serve these really. Well, we're just literally gonna eat them next. Okay, so it's like I said before, it's humid here. Here we go. Just so you get a uh, proportion, these are the size. Look, compared to mum's head, same length of mum's head. Okay, so they're quite big. It doesn't, didn't look quite right in the photos at the start, so I thought I'd show you now. Now, we are going to literally just bite these like we normally do. We don't actually have to eat them, <laughs> we just choose to. I don't know why. Yeah. I just think about this the other day. It's weird that we just sit and eat food in front of people. Well, I don't know. It's always nice to eat your food, isn't it? No, it's always nice to eat yeah. food, yeah. But anyway, so we're going to have a bite of these right now. Yeah. And um, okay. we'll tell you the verdict, even though I know they're incredible. It's hot, though. It's crispy. Can you hear it? Oh, hot like that! Mmm. It to cool down a little bit. Mm. It's nice. Honestly, it's nice. For some people who like a bit more salty, you can put that dark soy or light soy, a bit of soy in it. You can. Mum likes to brag about her food a lot, and this is one of the times I'll say you can't. I've never had a pancake roll that tastes better than this. Well, I have. Never. I can roll this pancake roll quite fast. No answer, I'm just listen. weirdly braggy. I'm weirdly braggy about weird things. I'm, I can do this really quickly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was quick, actually. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. If you'd like to support the channel, by all means, um, head over to Patreon and uh, sign up there. We're going to change the structure a little bit um, in the coming weeks. Uh, it's cooking hot. Yeah. It's yummy, this is pork. Yeah. Um, and so the structure is going to be changing. Uh, all your patrons will be informed of how it is changing. Don't worry. It's going to benefit you all drastically. So don't you worry about that. Also, check out our online web store. Yeah. We sell a lot of our dry products there. So nothing fresh, but we sell the spices. Everything that a Chinese takeaway will actually use, we sell it on there. Yeah. And that's about it. Yeah. Happy? Happy cooking and happy eating. Try out this pancake roll. It's nice. Yeah, honestly, try them out. Epic. It's hot. Yeah, I know.